Hi, it's Bubble Chew Tea and I'm back with another clothing haul. This is a collaboration with an online store called Pastel Loves Store. They asked me if I wanted to collab and I was pretty impressed by how many cute and nice stuff they sell on their website. Many of these clothes that I found I haven't even seen before on like AliExpress or any other of these kind of Asian kawaii pastel shops. Aside from clothes, they also sell wigs, shoes, accessories, bags and so on. And since this is a collaboration, you can use my coupon code bubble chew tea for 10% off if you order from there. I chose nine clothing items and one wig and I'm gonna list them all in the description if you're interested in any of these items I'm gonna show you. I think I'm gonna start with this jacket. This is one of the items that I was most excited about. This jacket comes in two different colorways. This is the pink or pink blue version and then there's a darker blue version and it retails for 35 US dollars. It only has one size though like most Asian clothes only come in one size, unfortunately. The lining inside is pink and it looks really cute. I like that this jacket looks so casual, but I think if you pair it with a nice outfit, you could easily make it look a little bit more stylish or dressed up. And it has this cute hood. The size of the hood is actually... It's not too bad. This jacket is very lightweight, so I think it will be great for like spring days and also summer and autumn, depending on the climates where you live. And this is how it looks fully zipped. It doesn't really look good with this pinafore that I'm wearing right now, but it's pretty like poofy and big here and then it goes <laughs> in like here. The next thing I got is this sailor dress. I hate to say it but this dress was a bit of a disappointment. In my opinion I would have wanted the color to be a bit more pastel or baby pink but in real life it's kind of a peachy peachy pink. The shade is still okay. I mean, if you want a peachy colored dress, then this is for you. This dress is $29 and it also comes in white and navy blue. I think the navy blue one would be the ultimate sailor dress. The material of this dress tends to get wrinkly pretty fast. It does bother me a bit, but... Meep. Yeah. It's still a really cute dress and I love that the design of it is like a baby doll cut that it doesn't have a defined waist i think it's called a baby doll cut correct me if i'm wrong i think it gives off a very cute and innocent look the length of it is also okay for me it's not too short i'm gonna try it with a belt and see if that will look good so I'm not quite sure about this. It looks okay. Maybe a different belt. Do you think this dress looks better with a belt or without a belt? This pinafore is actually available in two different colors. Blue and pink. I was contemplating for a long time like, hmm, should I get the pink one or should I get the blue one? But I couldn't decide on just one color because I like them both so much. So I got them both and I don't regret it at all. Honestly, I feel like I would have regretted it if I only got one of them. These are so adorable. I'm so in love. And the material isn't too thick, but it's not too thin either, if you know what I mean. So the blue one has this pink heart embroidered into it and I really like that detail. The buttons are also really cute. I actually already have a similar pinafore to these ones but in purple. So now I have all of my three favorite colors, pink, blue and purple. Each one of these pinafores costs $30 and this is how it looks like from the back. And they are one size but they're kind of roomy around here so I feel like they could fit a few different body sizes. And this is how the pink one looks like on. They're almost identical, but this one has a bear shape. I think this is meant to be a shape of a bear. And they're both so adorable. I love pinafores because they're so versatile. It's almost like a dress, 
but you can wear so many different tops with them. It would look even cuter if I added like a lace hemline here or something, that it would also be a little bit longer. This thing that I'm wearing is called sun protection clothing on their website, but I would probably call it Pegnor. My pronunciation is probably wrong. Okay, well, now I know. This one retails for $30 and it's available in pink and blue. I chose this one because I thought it looked so cute on the website and I feel like it gives off those cult party K vibes. And I thought the material would be like chiffon, but when it arrived and I felt it in real life, I was pretty disappointed to be honest. My expectations were probably too high. I was expecting a bit more from this one. The material is stated as polyester on the website. Nothing wrong with that, but it doesn't feel like chiffon at all. It's more like this cheap organza material. I don't know how to explain it, but mm, I don't know. I don't really like this material. Maybe I could get away with it if I wear it just for photos. I feel like it would probably look good on photos. Just for science, I'm gonna compare this Pinot to a pink one that I bought from a secondhand store. This is kind of like the material I imagined it to be. This is two layers, but this material just feels a lot more wearable. The next thing I chose is this pink pleated skirt, and this one retails for $24. And it comes in pink, which I chose, and gray and blue black-ish. The sizes of this skirt ranges from XS to XXL. I always recommend to check the measurements before ordering, because for example, a size S here in Europe or America would most likely or most of the time be M or medium in Asia. I chose size M for this skirt. The waist is a tiny bit too big, but it works for me. The reason why I chose this skirt is because it has these eyelets and ribbons on the sides. I think they look so cute. I actually changed the ribbons to a different kind after they arrived. They used to look like this. And I think it looks so much cuter now that the ribbons are a different color and they kind of pop out more. I just love customizing and adding details to my clothes. And I think this skirt looks really good together with this top that I'm wearing. The material of the skirt is pretty thick too and it feels like it has some kind of interfacing on this side of the skirt. And it also has safety shorts. Wow! I think it's great that many Asian retailers make skirts with built-in shorts nowadays but i always wear some kind of shorts underneath my skirts anyway if they don't come with built-in shorts because accidentally flashing your butt in public is not what i want the next clothing item is this rainbow t-shirt and i actually have a similar t-shirt to this one that only arrived like a few weeks before this one so the other rainbow t-shirt looks like this. The thing is that when Pastel Love Store reached out to me, we weren't really clear on how many items I got to choose. At first I chose 10 items, but then they told me that they could only justify sending me 3 items, which also would have been totally fine for me, and this one wasn't included in my top three and when the parcel arrived it was indeed 10 items inside during that whole process i had set my eyes on a different kind of rainbow t-shirt which was this one so now i have two but they're not really the same they're similar but this one is a lot smaller this one is a lot more oversized well this is a size extra large because i wanted a kind of very oversized t-shirt so yeah the colors on this one is also a bit darker, but I like them both. And this little patch here on the front is so adorable. Oh, and this t-shirt retails for $25. It's also just one size, but it's available in two different colorways. I think this is the pink version of it. I was a bit hesitant about choosing these jeans at first. I think I haven't worn like regular denim pants in many years. I've always thought the color doesn't suit me or that it doesn't go with anything that I own, but... 
I decided to give these a try and they're honestly really cute. And now that I've tried them on and I've worn them for a few days, I actually ended up liking them. It's because of these embroidered hearts that I wanted to try these in the first place. Yes, I'm standing on my couch, but I don't know how else to showcase these pants. Another reason why I chose these are because I really started liking like wide-legged pants. I hate wearing regular skinny jeans, so wide leg pants make me hate my legs a bit less. These are $30 by the way, and they're only available in size L according to their website. Honestly, number and sizes don't mean shit in the end because all clothing shops pretty much have their own sizing charts, especially with pants, it's very confusing. One thing that I hate wearing even more than skinny jeans are shorts. I haven't worn shorts in so many years and I don't feel comfortable or confident in shorts at all. So the fact that I even chose these are very different and challenging for me. But I kind of wanted to give these a try because they're actually very cute and they're kind of high-waisted. So the style of them are actually really nice. The main reason why I chose them are because of these lace and bow details here. I was actually super anxious when trying them on for the first time but I'm trying to convince my sick brain that I don't look too bad in them. Anyway, these shorts were $36 and they're available in sizes small, medium and large. And this is the wig that I chose. It's a dark brown and peachy reddish, I would say. And this wig retails for $35. And the name of this wig on their website is Lolita European style. I don't know um, what about this wig is European style. I've already cut and styled the bangs a little bit and if you want to see how I cut and style wigs that have bangs like this then check out my previous video. So now I have the wig on. It's actually pretty long. Look at this. Mm. It's still pretty thick around my face. So I think I'm gonna have to cut some more on my face. Other than that, I think the bangs are pretty okay. Sometimes it's kind of hard to style bangs because synthetic hair isn't the same as real hair. But the quality of it feels good. It's pretty soft as well. The only thing that's bothering me is that it's a bit shiny, like you can probably see here. I don't know if I suit this wig. Maybe if I do some kind of cute hairstyle on it, it will look better. I don't know. I can't wait to style this wig and do some cute looks with it. Also, I gotta mention the hairline. As you can see, it's super realistic. And I have a lot of wigs that have this kind of hairline. And they are my favorite kind of wigs. I love them so much. Anyway, this is everything that I had to show you for this video. And if you liked any of these items, you can check the description because I will link everything in the description. I don't have that much more to say. I'm not good at these kind of outros, so I guess... Bye bye!